Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Evolve podcast. Supporting you to rise above all your limits, connect with the power of your soul, give and receive more love in all forms. And when I say all forms, I'm talking about health, about relationships, money, living your purpose, every single area of your life. So I am your host, Tanya Penny, and I'm an occupational therapist, intuitive guide, divine channel, and author of the Connect with the Divine You book and journals. In today's episode, I will be focusing on weight issues. So from a mind-body perspective, not from the normal, I'm going to say the normal, I don't know, Western medicine, whatever perspective you want to call it, just the normal perspective that pretty much says all weight issues have to do with food and or exercise. And I'm here today to give you this perhaps very new perspective because in my own life and working with hundreds, maybe thousands of other people on this issue, what I have seen. So let's go ahead and dive in. From a mind-body perspective, there are several different reasons why we might hold excess weight. So I'm gonna be talking about excess weight first, and then I'm gonna be talking about not being able to gain enough weight. Uh, I know some of you are probably like, what? Like, yeah, but, but I have worked with people that have also struggled with that. Like they can eat until they wanna throw up and they cannot gain enough weight. So both are going to be addressed today, but excess weight first. So one of the number one things that I've seen or reasons I have seen and personally experienced regarding excess weight is the need to protect yourself. So again, this isn't conscious. Most of us don't consciously say to ourselves, I'm going to gain weight to protect myself. That's not the way it works. So what would we be protecting ourselves from? And what typically it's from abuse, whether you're in currently in an abusive relationship and by abusive, I don't just mean physical and sexual, though that obviously can be the case. I'm also talking about verbal, criticism, controlling, manipulation, gaslighting. That's considered abuse as well. So if we're in an abusive relationship that includes any of that, or if you are afraid of being in an abusive relationship, you might put on excess weight. For some of us, it might be five pounds. For some of us, it might be 20. So I'm going to give you a few examples from my own life and way in the past to current. So I was date raped when I was 15. And I would say I felt I was a pretty average weight at that time. Probably like, I'm going to guess I was about 135 pounds. I'm five foot four, five foot five. And, um, I was date raped and within 30 days, I gained 20 pounds. I did not change my eating to my acknowledgement. So yes, sometimes if we're, um, if we're also trying to protect, protect ourselves, we will use excess food to comfort ourselves. Right. So could I have done that? Possibly. I probably did increase drinking at that point. So that might've been part of it, but definitely not 20 pounds worth. So not only was I date raped, I continued to stay with this person for almost four years for various reasons, fear, um, lot, lots of reasons. Um, so, you know, looking back, I can see that I gained that excess weight a part of me thought, oh boy, I'm going to be in this now and I'm going to need to protect myself. Maybe, maybe on some level, I thought if I gain the weight, maybe I won't sexually be attractive anymore. Maybe he won't want me. So we can't know a hundred percent, but I do know this. There was definitely a need to protect. And I'm going to give you another example 
fast forward to, let's see what example I want to give next. Fast forward to my marriage. So this was way back in, sorry, it wasn't my marriage. It was before I got married, but I was getting into a deeper relationship, a deeper commitment with the person I did end up marrying. And I noticed that I gained weight when I started being in a more long-term relationship with this person. So there's, there was a part of me, given my past negative experience, I was afraid I was going to get in a, be in, this was going to turn into an abusive relationship again. And so I put on weight at that point. Then fast forward to a relationship before the one I'm in now. That relationship, I gained weight towards the end. You know, in terms of abuse, I'm going to say it was, um, the abuse was more of withdrawal. So that can be abusive, withdrawing love. And that started to happen. And so I, I, really I felt abandoned. And that is still considered abusive, right? Withdrawing love from somebody, withholding love. And I noticed there was also abuse in terms of, I'm going to call it financial abuse. So that's possible too. Abuse comes in many forms. And so I was, I was over giving financially. I was abusing myself, right? And so I, um, I noticed towards the end of that relationship, I started gaining weight. I got out of that relationship. I started losing weight. You know, I also lived with someone at one point, um, a female friend that, you know, many of you who have followed me for a while know that I have had a ton of mom issues and a, a ton of mom trust issues. So I moved in with this woman and I gained weight. When I left, when I moved out, even though she wasn't abusive, it was the fear of it. I lost the weight, moved out. I started living by myself. I lost the weight, crazy, not even trying to. This was not even changing my diet. This, this wasn't even changing my exercise routine. So it is proof that food and exercise alone, now they might be a piece, but them, they alone are not always the root cause of, of excess weight issues. And I want to give you one more example, because I'm hoping with each example, it clicks for you. Like you find something that resonates for you. So I'm currently with my new sweetie. We've been together for a little while now, a couple of years. And we, as many of you know, moved to Hawaii. It'll almost be a year. So we moved to Hawaii and again, well, it happened even before Hawaii. I started to put on weight when we moved in together. So deeper commitment, deeper commitment, move in together, buy furniture, and again, this was before Hawaii and I gained weight. I gained weight. And then some of it came off. And now recently we again, moved into a new place. We actually bought all furniture together, brand new, all of it. And we're in an 18 month lease. I noticed again, I gained some weight. So protection, protection, protection from abusive relationships, either being in one, and it can be a family member. It doesn't have to be a partner. It can be a few, you know, a family. It can be a partner. It can be kids. It can be at the workplace. So if you're afraid of abuse, and this can be embarrassment, criticism, et cetera, right? Um, and it can be also, of course, physical and sexual as well. So protection can be a huge, huge one for a lot of us with excess weight. All right, let's move into reason number two, anger. So anger at yourself, anger turns in, inwards or anger at other people can cause excess weight. So I'll give you an example for me in the past when I've stayed in unfulfilling relationships, like the relationship I told you about before this one that I said there was some financial abuse, right? I was very angry at myself for not leaving earlier, for staying in it, for continuing to put up with the, something that was unfulfilling. 
I was also angry at that person, at my partner for not stepping up. So I had anger at both of us in that situation. Now, when it comes to anger too, it says um, from a mind-body perspective that depending on where you hold your weight, okay, so this is a generalization, but this may be true for you. If you have anger at men, especially if you're a woman, you might hold anger in your thighs. Now, especially if you've been sexually abused in any way, inappropriate touching, rape, there's lots of different sexual abuse, cat calling, name calling. Um, and if it's male related thighs, and that makes sense, right? If our thighs are bigger, it's harder to get in there and abuse us again sexually. Mother issues, uh, mother anger, sorry. If anger at your mother or any females, right? So it doesn't have to just be mom. It can be anger at females and or anger at yourself if you're a woman because you're a female. Stomach, you might hold weight in your stomach. And if you hold a lot of excess weight in your booty, that can be due to feeling powerless, the powerlessness. I just wanted to kind of weave that in there. Again, these are generalizations, but they may ring true for you. Also, number three reason, guilt and shame. So if you're holding on to guilt or shame about something in the past, or maybe something you're currently still guilting or shaming yourself for, this can include how you look. So my God, I can't tell you how much I used to shame myself for my body when I had excess weight. And even when I didn't have excess weight, you know, I struggled with body dysmorphia and so lots of body shame. Um, I used to beat myself up, shame for what I ate, if I overate, if I binged. So I used to have eating disorders, anxiety and bulimia at different points in my life. So I'd even shame myself for those. So anything we shame ourselves for or are still holding guilt for. So up until recently, I still held, and I did not know it, a lot of guilt and blame so guilt, blame, shame for the date rape when I was 15. I am 48 years old. I have worked through this. I can't tell you with how many times, with how many people, including my own tools, I didn't realize I still had this guilt. Like it was in blame. It was my fault. I was holding this belief that it was my fault that I was date raped because I went to a party. I drank for the first time. And there was a bunch of older kids there and I blamed myself, right? So I've, I've had to work on another layer of that. So guilt and shame. Reason number four, scarcity. If you're caught up in any scarcity and typically this has to do with money, the body will say, oh my God, Again, this is not conscious. If you're afraid about money, that might mean we don't have enough food or shelter. Therefore, I'm going to hold the weight in case we can't eat, in case we don't have a place to live and we need to, here we go back to protection. We need to protect ourselves. Crazy, you guys. But so many times I have seen this in my life as well. When I've had money fears, and fear of not having enough money, I have put on weight. And I've seen a lot of my clients do that as well. So those from a mind-body perspective are some deeper root causes of excess weight. Now I wanna spend a little bit of time on those of you who struggle with having enough weight on your body, with gaining weight. And I know, again, Maybe there are less people on the planet that struggle with this, but it's still, it's still a very um, challenging issue. So if you have trouble gaining weight, like you can eat, 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 and you still cannot gain weight, oftentimes there is, um, again, this is fear related, but it's a, it's a little bit, it can be a little bit different. 
So what's so interesting is wanting to hide. So protection, right? We talked about protection with excess weight, but on the, on the flip side, it can also be wanting to hide, disappear. So if you're again in a situation, a relationship um, where you feel like there is no way out and you just wish that you would disappear, you could have trouble gaining weight. It's like that failure to thrive, right? Not feeling enough love, enough nurture. That's another piece of it, right? So it can be the wanting to hide, disappear, but it can also be related to just feeling like you can't get your needs met. And oftentimes that's love, right? Um, and so we go into this kind of hopelessness, whether you're aware of it or not, that can keep you from gaining enough weight, a weight that would be healthy for you. So hopefully this has shed some light on some root causes, especially if you've been struggling with weight issues and you've done the diets, you've done the exercise, the food, and you're like, what is going on? What is wrong with me? Hey, there's, there's nothing quote unquote wrong with you. You know, the biggest thing you can do start is just acknowledge what, what of these other root causes might there be and have some compassion, acceptance and compassion for yourself. Right. So a lot of us, this began in childhood, you know, I, I, it did for me. Right. So acknowledgement, awareness of what might be at the root for you, then move into acceptance and compassion, regardless of what it might be. Not beating yourself up or, oh, I'm not over it yet. That goes back to the anger of self, right? Criticism of self, anger of self. That will just keep the weight on. So if you'd like to go deeper into this with me, I invite you to join me for the weight and body shame workshop. You can find the link for that below this email, or if you're looking at reading it on an email, watching it on YouTube, maybe you're on a podcast um, platform. So you can find the link for that below. You may also feel more comfortable working with me one-on-one. -on -one. So you can either sign up for a private session or for a longer program where we can work on this together and support you to heal this root cause, which is completely possible. Um, and again, I'm telling you from experience for myself and working with so many other people, it is possible. And even though I still go through it, I'm able to move through it a lot faster and with a lot more ease and grace and compassion for myself, which is so important. So if you find this beneficial and want to share it with others that might benefit, feel free to do that. Thank you for joining me for the Evolve podcast. And I hope to see and support you soon. Have a beautiful, nurturing rest of your day and week. Bye.